So you knew it was going to be a series of books. So you're going to talk about life struggles and your personal struggles as well. Uh, yeah, well, it's not necessarily based on myself. Okay, um, okay. There gotcha. are some, some of it. Um, you got some characters in, in some You got some other characters right. around who have remained nameless. Yes, of course. You, you're going to say that they're fictional, but there's some real, real people in this <laughs> book. All right, tell us about the first book, A Heart Not Easily Broken. Okay, A Heart Not Easily Broken um, is one that is definitely very dear to my heart. Every one of the stories that I write is. Um, mm -hmm. Because I deal with women's issues, mm -hmm. um, my genre that I write is women's fiction, okay. um, contemporary romance, and interracial romance. Mm -hmm. um, with a hard night. Use your real name. Hmm? You use your real name. No. Okay, all right. Okay, okay, I didn't think so. <laughs> I was just asking. Okay, all right. No. So most times, ladies write romance or uh, novels or memoirs. They generally don't use their real name. Yeah, And that's no. the interesting and adventurous part of uh, writing romance novels. But go ahead. <laughs> all right. Thank you. You think I knew that, didn't you? Okay. Okay. <laughs> But yeah, um, A Hard Night Easily Broken is basically um, the story of three friends, mm -hmm. um, Ebony, mm -hmm. Yasmin, and Kaylin. Okay. Um, they're all from three different walks of life. You got mm -hmm. one person um, that is from North Carolina, one mm -hmm. that's from California, and one from South Carolina. And this is the book, The, the mm -hmm. Heart is Not Easily Broken. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. You got that on the screen, I said for yes. you. Okay. But this story uh, specifically deals with Ebony Campbell and her interest in becoming involved in an interracial relationship. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So this is one of your girlfriends back home from South Carolina. No. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, so she was involved in an interracial relationship yeah, in a southern town, sounds like. Well, no, actually in California. This was in California. Okay, All right, different. Oh, yeah, very so different. Just a little bit different. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and like I said, I deal with women's fiction. Okay. So one of the things I wanted to do with my stories is to open readers' eyes to more that's going on around them. Mm -hmm. um, one of the biggest things, and I love the feedback that I've been able to get from my readers mm -hmm. and in book reviews, mm -hmm. um, is that a lot of people have not necessarily seen interracial dating the mm -hmm. way that um, the way that it is. Because California is, is a little bit more uh, free, they they accept a lot of different things. I mean, so it's a, the climate is just different than the South. Yeah, okay. the climate is different. Mm -hmm. So it was interesting to be able to take um, Ebony out of North Carolina, mm -hmm. you know, which is as far away from right, home right, from right, us yeah. here. Mm -hmm and her views of interracial dating and then she deals with brian the white guy who um like you said is a whole nother whole nother turn whole, of events. yeah that's a whole different world i don't know i call it the left coast yeah, yeah but so. the thing about my stories are and i do this in all of my stories okay. i take a topic that people tend to think about mm -hmm. but i put a twist and a spin on it mm -hmm. so while the book is dealing with interracial relationships True. there is still a lot more that's going on because in the heart of the story it's about a woman who's learning to um, continue to be independent, okay. but open herself up to love in different ways she's not expecting it. Mm -hmm. But when tragedy strikes, she's having to learn to be able to trust herself, mm -hmm. her friends, and the relationship mm -hmm. that she's established. Let me ask you a question. I'm pretty, you're probably pretty sure you got in this book. How did the family accept uh, this relationship? Which is very interesting because I didn't really focus on her particular side of the family. Oh, really? You, yeah, you, no. you focus on his side of the family? I focus on his side of the family. Oh, and tell me a little bit. Just give not, me a tidbit about that then. His family is very accepting. California again? Yes. Okay, <laughs> great, great. Now, you say you have three books. The second book is mm -hmm. Jade. Jaded. Jaded. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. now Jaded, jaded. Uh, now jaded uh, is the book after a heart not easily broken. Mm -hmm. Now, Jaded, is it similar romance? Is it? Is it this is actually a slightly different romance. Okay, tell me a little bit about that. Um, this one is one of her best friends by the name of Yasmin, who, um, since this is a series, some mm -hmm. of their stories are somewhat connected, but at the same time, they're independent stories. Mm -hmm. um, in this particular story, she's left with her heart. Her, okay. She's the one whose heart ends up being broken. Okay. So this is her personal journey and her independence and learning to find Jaded. love again herself. Okay. But it also, once again, like I said, I deal with women's fiction. Sure. It deals with issues such as um, breast cancer. Okay, and gotcha. dealing with family and all right. And now you had a third book. 
Yeah, the in third the memoirs. Book. And what's the third book? Lonely Heart. Lonely Heart. Mm -hmm. These romantic novels. Okay. Yes. <laughs> now, what's what's uh, Lonely Heart about? Lonely Heart. That's the one I'm currently editing now. Okay. Um, that one is going to be dealing with the issues of single parenthood. Okay. That's a great topic. Great topic. And did I mention all my characters are different races? Because, like I said, I deal with interracial romance. That's so right. I mix it up. Excellent. Excellent. Now, uh, let me ask you a question. I got a couple of questions. I know we were sure. kind of hurrying through. Uh, do you have a a um, um, idea? for a person that wanted to write? Did you start writing as a journalist? Or were you on the yearbook staff in school? I mean, how did you start your novel? Self-taught author. Self-taught author. Self-taught author, uh, Did yeah. you have a ghost writer help you with these books? No. You just kind of did yourself? Yeah, I, I did it myself. Like I said, I was an avid reader for many sure. years. Um, I had spent a lot of time at the library reading. Mm -hmm. um, I had um, help from authors sure. who reached out to help me. And in turn, I've done the same thing. Um, I host a writer's group oh, at excellent. the Barnes and Noble down mm -hmm. um, in tomorrow. Uh -huh. Do you do a lot with the uh, library to get your, the message out? Um, yeah, well, that's actually where my writer's group originally okay. started. Gotcha. Okay. One mm -hmm. of the librarians there mm -hmm. really begged me to start a writer's group, and I kind of held on doing that, but finally yeah. I started doing it about a year ago. Uh -huh. so. Tell me a little bit about publishing rights, and then I'll, I'll let you give us some information how we can contact you. Okay, publishing. Um, publishing. I'm published through a company by the name of Five Prince Publishing out of Colorado. Five Prince, okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm not self-published. Okay. Um, and again, I tell you what, the best way mm -hmm. to get that information sure. is by contacting me through my blog because okay. I do have a blog. Well, give me that website. information right there on the blog. Um, my website is authormjkane.wordpress.com, mm -hmm. um, and on that site I have a location that is specifically for authors who are looking for information mm -hmm. and writing tips. All right, let me ask you this then. Is there a phone number so I want to have you uh, to come to a book signing or just come and talk to the group about Actually, what you're doing? Actually, my website is the best place okay, to give, contact Give me that website one more time then. Um, it's author, M-J, sure. Kane, spelled K-A-N-E, okay. dot wordpress, dot com. Um, and on there, you'll find the Contact Me tab. Excellent. Well, great. Our first guest has been M.J. Kane, author of the Butterfly Memoirs. The first one was A Heart Not Easily Broken. second one is Jaded, and the third one was? Lonely Heart. Lonely Heart. So look for that book pretty soon. If you didn't get information, call our office again at 404-371-3681. You're watching Stan Watson Show. We'll take a quick break. I promise you we'll be right back.
Walker High School, which is old Gordon or something, what was it? Oh, well, no, it's McNair. Now. McNair now, right. Okay, Walker was right there in front of uh, Mark Trail somewhere. Uh, Used to be. Mark Trail, right? It's um, on Boulder Crest. Boulder Crest, that's where it is now, McNair. Okay, great, old Walker High School. Mm -hmm. Now, why did you see a reason to uh, start Academic Advantage Tutoring? Uh, was it something you saw in our kids in school or family members? How did you start the process? That's definitely the case. As a chemistry teacher, I got students who could not do the math. Mm -hmm. They couldn't process information. Was reading important in chemistry and math? Reading and math. Okay. So mm -hmm. you have to do the math to set up the chemistry problem. Mm -hmm. So I, um, it ranged for a number of my students to be tested. And so I was very surprised when the results came back as fourth grade reading, fourth grade math, mm. fourth grade. So I said, you know, as a teacher, I have 30 students here, mm -hmm. and each student is on individual levels. Mm -hmm. So that was my goal. I wanted to be able to teach each student at their own individual level. Right. So that's what we do at Academic and Advantage Tutoring. We customize mm -hmm. programs for each student. Now, where were you teaching school at? Well, I actually taught in DeKalb. Okay. So um, went to school in DeKalb, mm -hmm. ended up as a DeKalb teacher. Sure. I ended up doing my student internship in Fulton County. Schools. Okay. And also worked in Gwinnett schools for about two years. Uh, so what do you think we need to do to enhance uh, the overall curriculum as it relates to math and science? And I know that we're uh, behind in math and science more so, uh, not just in the cab, but in the United States, more so than other countries. What do you think we have to do? Is it, does it start with reading at, at, at uh, first grade level? Is it early uh, childhood intervention? What is it? You just hit the nail right on the head. It's mm -hmm. reading. Mm -hmm. If the student's comprehension level is low, mm -hmm. they can't read, they can't comprehend science. So reading is so studies, important. Very important. Okay. Very important. And so what do you think that you could do? You said you served as a principal and a teacher? Not a principal. Teacher. I do have certification for principal. Okay, but as a teacher. <laughs> as a okay, teacher. so as a teacher, what do you see that we can do to enhance reading scores to help uh, young people with math problems and uh, chemistry and science? It all starts with reading, as you said. Mm -hmm. um, I know schools have summer reading lists, mm -hmm. but what I find is that when students read the textbooks, they don't know a word, they mm -hmm. skip over it. Mm, okay. So they don't stop And what to they look should be doing is asking an adult or the teacher or the instructor, what does this word mean, mm -hmm. and look it up. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's what we do. We mm. say, you know, you can't just mm. make up a word right. or pretend you know what it is, you have to stop and look it up. Okay. Now what does uh, your tutoring service offer? And what, what grades are you uh, offering? What age level? We actually tutor pre-K through adult. Pre-K through adult? You starting early, yes. like you said, okay. Our youngest student is three. Okay. Our oldest student is uh, in his 60s. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Yes. Mm -hmm. So we offer a variety of services. We do test prep in all areas. Mm -hmm. SAT, ACT, PSAT, SSAT, MCAT, mm -hmm. um, ASVAB, COMPASS exams. So we offer a variety of that. We do. Um, do prep for all the state mandated tests. Oh, really? Okay. And of course, so tests. parents looking at the show tonight, if they're getting prepared for, uh, say, SAT scores, mm -hmm. uh, tests at least, or ACT, or maybe some other preparatory class, or uh, test scores to be uh, recorded, you can help in, in, in your capacity. Yes, actually, I'm glad you brought that up. On November 2nd, we'll have a free workshop at mm -hmm. our Academic Advantage on La Vista Road, okay. where the parents and students can attend from 12 noon until about 1.30. And they'll see what you're doing and what you offer. Mm-hmm. Okay. We'll actually go over the differences between both types of tests mm -hmm. and how to prepare, what they should be doing to prepare now for college mm -hmm. ready readiness. and. What are some of the tests that you prepare them for? Let's say if it's, an, let's do the, the grade levels. Say in elementary school, what tests are you preparing that you could prepare the kids for your, your, your company? We prepare them for CRCT. Okay. And when the Common Core is fully instated, we'll prepare them for Common Core. All right, what about middle school? 
Same thing Same for thing. middle school, CRCT. Okay. Uh, final exams if they have Excellent. them, eighth yeah. grade. <laughs> right. Uh, and then in high school? High school. You know, at this point, they have about five weeks to prepare for graduation tests. Yeah. So we've That's actually, a tough test. Well, it, it's a tough test, and especially if they've, they haven't passed in two or more areas. Mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. We find that they get discouraged. Mm -hmm. But we've actually tutored students who, um, who were like 30 years old at this point and had not passed the test, had oh, taken really? it over 10 times. 30 years old? Yes. Oh my God, okay. All right. I, and you're tutoring them as well? Well, we've actually had them come through our center and they mm -hmm. passed the test. Okay. So we've had people who've taken it numerous times. Uh -huh. They've taken our uh, prep class and they passed it. Okay, excellent. So, so now let's talk about class size. Oftentimes in school we talk about uh, the reduction in class size helps mm -hmm. a teacher or instructor be a better instructor, so to speak, yes. and keep the kids in, in check, so to speak. Yes. What, are, what are you doing in your classroom? Well, how, many, how many people, if I came to a class that you're uh, prepping for elementary school or pre-K, how many kids would I see in your class? We do an after-school program Normally. for for all of our students. We have groups of no more than six to eight. Mm -hmm. Six to eight. Okay. Eight would be the max. Excellent. And that includes our SAT and ACT prep classes. Okay. Is that for each one of your classes at the middle school and high school level? You try to stay uh, at a normal about eight? Eight would okay. be the max. Okay, excellent. Now, uh, tell us what, what you do when a person comes in. A parent comes in and says, I want to come to your school. and know we, we'll talk about the fees in a second. But what kind of assessments do you do to see who this person is or this young person is? We do a reading. We do a math assessment. We mm -hmm. test them uh, extensively. We test them with their reading comprehension, mm -hmm. vocabulary, phonics. Mm -hmm. We test them in 13 different areas mm -hmm. of math. And then how do you record those, that data once you receive it? Is it somewhere in a computer or you do a um, verbal consultation with the parents and the student at that time? It's both. It's, uh, the tests we use are nationally normed tests. Okay. So we sit down with the parents and with the student and we devise a tutoring plan. Mm -hmm. So we don't have any contracts. We just make recommendations as far as tutoring, mm -hmm. um, as far as their schedule is, mm -hmm. you know, that would accommodate them best. Excellent. So you are you open on Saturdays or the weekend? Saturdays, nine to twelve. Nine to twelve. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then during the week, you do an after school program. You said during the weekday, we're mm -hmm. there three until seven thirty, three mm -hmm. until eight thirty if needed. Okay, mm -hmm. excellent. Uh, I know the, under some of the laws, you won't give names, but who are some of the more gifted people you've had that have gone on to be stars somewhere, either uh, in sports or uh, journalism or somewhere? <laughs> done a great job, or become chemists or whatever. Well, um, I've actually been tutoring students since college. Okay. Um, but I did meet a student who was at Emory University. Excellent. And he was a medical school student, and he said he wanted to drop out because he couldn't pass biochemistry. At, at, Emory? at Emory? Oh, my goodness, okay. And right now he is a... Uh, He's over a couple of hospitals in Houston. Oh, he's awesome. a Great surgeon. Great testimony story. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so he went from saying I'm, I quit, and now he's a surgeon or doing something in, in hospitals in Houston. Yes. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> All right, give us information how we can contact you. You sound like you have a great school, academic advantage tutoring. How old is the school? Uh, we're going into our eighth year. So you've been doing this about eight years now, yes. and your staff is how big? We have about 15 tutors on staff. Okay, They're excellent. very energetic. Um, very focused on student learning. Okay. I got to ask you this question, it's strictly off the cuff, but what do you think about the uh, virtual classrooms or a tutoring that, are, that have virtual classrooms? Well, um, what we do for students who, who have computerized classes mm -hmm. is that we actually have students who, who have those classes and okay. they still need tutoring. Right, okay. So um, the one-on-one -on -one teacher focus mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we find is the best okay excellent. so, so we Wonderful. supplement that learning excellent okay great <laughs> well give us information how we can contact you academic advantage tutoring on la vista road your yes. number and where, your location yes we're located at 4985 la vista road we are across from tucker high school in browning village plaza excellent. our web address is www.aadvantagetutoring.com our number is 770-908-0398 Excellent. Our mm -hmm. guest has been Ms. Kim Belt. She's the Director of Academic Advantage Tutoring on the Vesta Road 
in District 7. I had to get her on today and uh, talk about what she's doing with our tutoring program. If you missed that number, the number again is? 770-908-0398. All right, if you need the tutoring demands, if you need to get your child prepared for college, or just if you're on a reading level as it relates to almost any subject you said, yes. call Advantage, Academic Advantage Tutoring. All right, we're watching the Stan Watch Show. We'll take a quick break, and I got a great guest. We'll be talking about music and plays and everything, so stay right there. I promise you I'll be right back. Bonjour. Hola. Ni hao. Annyeonghaseyo. Ekbele. Skawarama. DeKalb's International Food and Music Festival returns Saturday, October 19th from noon to 6 at the North Lake Mall. Join us for the excitement of DeKalb's diverse population. Join us at the DeKalb International Food and Music Festival as we explore, embrace, and embody the many faces of DeKalb County. Join us for family fun and great food as we celebrate the cultural diversity that makes DeKalb County so great. Emailing us. Game at to the cab. Y moi ce visage de cab. Y yo soy la cara de the cab. I am the face of the cab. The cab is the The face of the cab county. Annyeonghaseyo. Jonan, the cab mini oju the cab. Bohana hai wujika the cab. I am the face of the cab county. DeKalb County Government welcomes you to be in awe of the arts, take in a few tunes, and dine on the delicacies specific to DeKalb's diverse population. Come out to DeKalb's International Food and Music Festival on October 19th from noon to 6 p.m. at the North Lake Mall at 4800 Briarcliff Road. Join us at the DeKalb International Food and Music Festival as we explore, embrace, and embody the many faces of DeKalb County. Join us for family fun and great food as we celebrate the cultural diversity that makes DeKalb County so great. Here, bonjour. Hola. Ni hao. Annyeonghaseyo. Ekbele. Skawarama. DeKalb's International Food and Music Festival returns Saturday, October 19th from noon to 6 at the North Lake Mall. Join us for the excitement of DeKalb's diverse population. Join us at the DeKalb International Food and Music Festival as we explore, embrace, and embody the many faces of DeKalb County. Join us for family fun and great food as we celebrate the cultural diversity that makes DeKalb County so great. And welcome back to Stan Watson Show. I hope you enjoyed that uh, short segment with Ms. Kim Belt. She is the Director of Advantage, Academic Advantage Tutoring here in DeKalb County, located on La Vista Road. It's been great talking with her, and I think she'll be able to help some students that we have. Well, we have a great gospel artist, Mr. Marcus Dawson. Marcus, welcome to Stan Watson Show. How are you doing tonight? Good, good, good. good. What are you singing for me tonight? Tonight, we're going to do Found in You. And, and how long have you been found in you singing? Man, I've been found in you all my life. All your life? Where are you from? I'm from Warrington, Georgia. Warrington, Georgia? Yes, oh, my sir. goodness. Warrington. Warrington. Oh, my Warrington goodness. County. You got some famous people from there. Yeah. I think, um, is it Jose Williams or was that? Uh, from the area? Yeah. James Brown. James Brown. Oh, yes. he, he really jumped on me. You better <laughs> learn how to sing then. You're talking about James Brown from here. Yes. All right. Well, good, good. And you're going to be singing again for us tonight? Yes, sir. What's the song again? This song is called Found in You. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Marcus Dawson. Found in you. Father, I'm reaching for you right now. Sometimes I feel so far away.
back to the stand watching show. Thank you for tuning in tonight. Again, we apologize uh, for the technical difficulties tonight, but we're trying to get everything right before we leave tonight. But we have uh, some great guests tonight. Uh, first, we got uh, Mel Christopher Young, and you're going to be talking about uh, the play, yes. Speechless. Mm -hmm. All right, good. Now tell us about this play. Okay, so Speechless is uh, a play that is being hosted by the uh, Arts Fair. their struggles as uh, being homeless and uh, it's directed by Randy Wall okay. so it's a great 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 production it's a musical so oh, it's oh you're in the musical yeah and is it, you say it's about homeless why did you choose that title and why you present that to the stage um, because what we wanted to do in raising money for the United Way one of the good things about the United Way is they carry uh, they cover many different um, mm -hmm. nonprofits right, so what they correct. do is they make it easier and accessible to get um, help um, no matter what you're going through. So we wanted to pick something that they were avid in assisting. And one of the things that they're avid in assisting with is, is helping the homeless. homeless right. So we decided that we would do a production um, that would um, bring light to that cause. And Stephen Haynes, who, are, uh, who is our um, chairperson, mm -hmm. uh, decided that you know, he wanted to do a play, so he wanted to bring it all together. And that's okay. what's been happening. The cast is awesome. Excellent. Okay, talk, talk a little bit about the cast. Who are some of your, your uh, characters on? stage and who are some of the people behind the character okay so uh right now we have a cast of 22 22 and then, yes and That's a lot. Um, yes and we have a four person band um and we have um seven main principal characters so okay. it, it really is a great they're up and coming um artists um, okay. but the music is phenomenal i would love mm. to let you hear them at some okay point. well what, what is <laughs> tell me a little bit about the music um, is it uh r b rap is it gospel is it um, contemporary what is it i would call it um randy walls's background is in uh broadway um uh, traveling shows sure. as well so it's it's like a broadway musical okay um with some soul i would say yeah it's okay with a little phenomenal. soul yeah all right great <laughs> and, and and the singers are these are all local people yes. And yes. uh, I guess so then the actors and actresses are local as well. Yes. All right, what date yes. is this play? Uh, this is happening on October 30th. Okay. Uh, it will happen from 7 to 10 at the Porter Sanford. Excellent. Yeah, um, 3181 Rainbow Drive. I know it very yeah. well. <laughs> All right. We also have Mr. Lonnie Kelly and Yashitrius <laughs> Andrews. That's it, Anderson. That's it, right? That's correct. Goodness, I got it right. I'll practice it all night. All right, well, great. And you guys are doing something as well on the 30th, is that right? We are also doing something at the Porter Sanford okay. on the 23rd. 23rd, 23rd okay, all right. October. That's next weekend. Next and then, so you're preempting him by yes. one week, okay? Right. And it's entitled Marching in One Accord with United Voices. Okay. The theme is A Night of Unity. Night of Unity. Yeah, so it's basically a few acts. Okay. Very diverse. Okay. Lonnie Kelly is going to talk a little bit about the acts. Okay. Mm -hmm. Talk a little about acts. Tell me about this play too, okay? Or, or is it a musical basically, is it? It's a lot of singing, sounds like. A lot of singing, okay. A lot of singing, okay. A lot of singing, okay. A lot of singing. Okay. Talk about that, Lonnie. And Lonnie can sing a little bit too, but okay. So tell me about the singing. Um, I'm, I'm very excited. Very okay. Very excited. Uh, me and Stephen Haynes and all the community got together and wanted to do something. Uh, our one is marching down and the United Way. Okay, mm -hmm. good. With okay. Both committees, Excellent. Uh, on all so uh, I'm very excited. Some of the guests that we got are uh, totally committed of Atlanta. Mm -hmm. uh, the voices of the cab, mm -hmm. which is, uh, they work with us a different one around. Unchained. Mm -hmm. they, are, they are out of town and, and they are coming in together. Okay. One. You know who okay. that is? Okay. That is my group. <laughs> right. I've heard them sing. They sang for me before. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah, I got Brother Walt Beasley, the Gospel Explosion. Oh, really? The Walt Beasley coming too? Yeah, oh, you got some good guests. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, new verse of gospel vision. They're uh -huh. gonna be there. They from Atlanta, gospel flame. Okay. Hey, mm -hmm. Amen. They are they out of Griffin, Georgia. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they're coming. Truly sitting mm -hmm. next to me. Okay. Hey, Amen. She's gonna be there doing her solo. So women, so yeah. you see, you you tell me you're gonna sing as well. I will. Yeah. You will. <laughs> are you, what are you gonna say? You singing gospel? I yes. You say I can. Uh, okay. <laughs> I do. Okay. <laughs> now, how did you guys come up with your music? I know you got two uh, nonprofit, United Way and. Um, March, March of Dimes. Dimes. Okay, so your uh, fundraising efforts and benefactor will be who? Both. Both, okay. Yeah, so this is just money for them as well. Mm -hmm. All right, now, uh, how did you decide that just, we'll just do a musical? Well, uh, everybody will put stuff together as the committee came together last mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. And uh, Steve and them were there trying to come up with mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. I said, hey, let's do a gospel concert. Right, right, right. I said, well, if we do it, I can get all that. Right. <laughs> that was easy. You get all that. So yeah, you can call your friends in. Yeah, and uh, 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 Mr. 
Davis. Yeah, yeah. The late. The late. Mm. Hey, man, she's been working real hard okay. putting all this stuff together mm. with me and Monica Smith. Okay. Amen. So they've been working hard along with them. So Excellent. I'm excited. And just okay. something to bring the community together. together. We okay. know that music is something that brings universal. A lot of universal, yes, yeah, correct. Diverse, mm -hmm. you know, different acts. Sure. And everybody loves All right. music. So mm -hmm. we can look for um, uh, a lineup of great artists mm -hmm. uh, for a great cause yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. on October 23rd. What time? It's going to be at 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock, and it's at the Porter Sanford Performing Arts Center. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that's the 23rd of October. The 23rd. 23rd of October. It starts next at 7 o'clock. All right, now how, if I can get information about this particular musical, is there a phone number to call, or if I don't want to get a ticket, what I need to do? Okay. Well, well he can discuss the uh, online ticket. Okay. Online. Okay, go ahead. Right. Well, um, yeah, yeah, you can Christopher get. Young, yes. Right. <laughs> okay, so for for the for the musical, um, well, let's start with the gospel concert since that's happening October first. October twenty third. Huh? You can go to www.unitedvoices.eventbrite.com. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, that would be where you can get the tickets. Their tickets are fifteen dollars, okay. just fifteen dollars. That, that's affordable. That's right. Yeah, just fifteen dollars for their show, um, and for Speechless, uh, the play which I'm going to be acting in as well, so I'm kind of oh, excited yeah. about that too. Mm -hmm. um, you can go to, uh, again, Eventbrite. It's www.speechlesstickets.eventbrite.com. Our tickets are $25, and uh, we're really excited about the show. All right, so October 23rd at the Performing Arts Center, yes. the Porter Sanford Performing Arts Center. Tickets are $15, and we got uh, great music, mm -hmm. and it's for a great cause. Again, it's for the United Way and mm -hmm. I keep it, March of Dimes, Dimes, okay? Mm -hmm. And then on October 30th, yes, the play sir. Speechless, also yes. at the Porter Sanford Performing Arts Center, yes, sir. and your tickets are $25. Yes, sir. Why mm -hmm. are you keeping 15 no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All, right. All right, so your tickets are $25, and you are 15 uh, If I miss anything, you want to give a shout-out or something that I might miss asking you guys? Yes. Sure. Mm -hmm. At the door for the play, mm -hmm. It'll go up to 30. 30. Mm -hmm. All right, so you ask asking people to get their tickets early. 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 And for the inspirational concert, uh -huh. it'll go up five. At go up five, so it'll be twenty dollars a day so of the event. Now, who's, who's your master sermon? Is it Reggie Gay or Larry yeah, Tinsley or who? Brother Eli W. Y. Oh, that's what, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Eli does a great job too. I was trying to figure out was him or Rodale in the ATL or <laughs> Big Don Cochran or you know I didn't know who it was. Katie Bow. I, I knew you had a good person doing it. Okay, so Y. Z. is supporting you as well. Oh, yeah. All right, so we got an event, two events. Two great events coming up on October 23rd at the Porter Sam Performing Arts Center. Mm -hmm. Great music for a great cause, the March of Dimes and, and the uh, United Way. Mm -hmm. uh, those tickets are $15. It's October 23rd at 7 p.m. Be on time. The day of the <laughs> event, the at the day of the event, the um, uh, tickets will be $20, so get your tickets real quick. And then on October 30th, yes, the sir. place Speechless, uh, what time does it start? I forget it starts that. at 7. It starts seven, at 7 as well, seven. so it starts at 7 o'clock, mm -hmm. and we're going to uh, look forward to uh, helping them with their play as well, so October yes. uh, 23rd and October 30th. All right, Lonnie, you got to say something going out. Just say something. <laughs> with you. Say something. Say something. Say something. Say something. Say something. Why should I feel mm -hmm. discouraged? And why should the shadow come? Yes, that's all right, all right. So we'll make it work. Why should my heart be lonely and long for heaven and home? All right, okay. Amen. All right, I just want to make sure if they want to come see y'all, they, they know y'all can sing a little bit, and we'll pay 15 and 25. Y'all better show out. <laughs> and 20 on 30. We're great. That's Looking beautiful. for you to help us with the uh, uh, play speeches on October 30th and also with the musical on October the 23rd over the Porter San Performing Arts Center. We're great. Well, guess what? We'll take a quick break. I want to have Marcus Dawson come back and take us out in grand style. So mm. stay right there. We'll be right back. You're watching Stan Watson Show.
DeKalb's International Food and Music Festival returns Saturday, October 19th from noon to 6 at the North Lake Mall. Join us for the excitement of DeKalb's diverse population. Join us at the DeKalb International Food and Music Festival as we explore, embrace, and embody the many faces of DeKalb County. Join us for family fun and great food as we celebrate the cultural diversity that makes DeKalb County so great. Fan Watch Show again. I'm your host, Fan Watch. Thank you so much for tuning in to our live show. Again, we want to apologize for some of the technical difficulties tonight. We were missing a few people, but we tried to do the best we could to bring it out to you. So we'll be back next week uh, with that um, better uh, rendition of what we've been doing tonight. I want to uh, thank everybody that participated in our breast cancer walk, uh, first annual breast cancer walk. Thank you so much for what you did for our community. And then don't forget uh, this Saturday, October the 19th, we're going to have our food and music festival over at North Lake Mall and we should be able to make it work. Well, I got Mr. Marcus Bowman back with Marcus. How are you doing again? I'm doing good, sir. Good. Now, you? tell me, you say you're from Warrington, Georgia. Warrington, Georgia. Been singing for a long time. Singing all my Where life. Where can we find you in the next couple of weeks? Uh, well, this Saturday, I'll be at the music festival, uh, I think. Uh, You'll be at the music festival on Saturday yes, as well. On Saturday. Okay. Um, it's just wide open. Right. I got to get my schedule. Everything's everywhere. But uh, I'm, I actually, actually, I pastor mm -hmm. in my uh, in Who's the Who's your city. pastor? I'm a, no, I'm a, I, I'm oh, you're a pastor. Okay. I, I thought you said you're a right. pastor. Okay. So I have a few speaking engagements, main okay. conference coming up. Um, that will be in Watley. Okay. Um, it's nowhere near here. You okay. Know, that's about but that's okay. You're still preaching. Three, okay. Three or four hour drive. But Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. And we want to get in touch with you about your music or pastoral leadership or uh, talking yeah. to you about what uh, goes on in your you life. Can, uh, as far as booking, that would be through Tamika Webb. Okay. Give us uh, Tamika's information. Information. Yeah. Um, you can just go on Facebook, Marcus sure. Dawson, Twitter, Yo Mark Excellent. Dawson. 37. Excellent. Um, Excellent. All right, now the song you're doing for us, is this as you take us out? It's called All Random. Right Okay, just letting you know All Right is Okay. All right, okay. It's going to be All Right Okay. Right. All right, well, thank you all for watching. We're going to go straight to Mr. Marcus Dawson. We'll see you next week. Thank you for tuning in and watching the Stan Watson Show. Marcus Dawson, ladies and gentlemen.
it's gonna be great. Hey, 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 it's gonna be great. Bless you.